welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be kitchen renovation part two. If you missed part one, go ahead and check it out. That's where we knock down a wall in our kitchen that divides our kitchen and our living room. And we put up this beautiful natural looking beam. We move the oven and we put new flooring in as well. So go check out kitchen renovation part one on my channel but this is part two and today we are tackling painting the cabinets eventually we'll get rid of this backsplash but we don't have time now so we're going to paint these cabinets white as you can see i emptied it i'm going to start prepping i did some um prep i'm going to continue to prep and pono and our friend eric are going to paint them we don't have a lot of cabinets to cover so that's good this cabinet is going to go so we have this drawer right here and then these cabinets so not too much and then they're also going to replace the countertop in this video as well we're going to do a little um, bar extension right here where we can tuck some bar stools under and we're also going to in this uh, video move the fridge from here to probably right here. The pantry was so awkward um, before because there was a lot of wasted space. So we knocked down this wall and we're gonna try to build a corner pantry, hopefully with an arch door opening. We'll see, it's all just in my mind right now. We'll see if we can actually execute it. And again, the time frame is very short. So I feel like it's been a minute since I've updated you guys on anything regarding the kitchen renovation But they did start Pono and Eric did start the arch over here. This uh, Corner was giving me a big headache design wise like I had no clue what to do and Trying to make use of all this space. We tried the to move the fridge in several different places and ideally like we would like to rearrange the whole kitchen and move a lot of the appliances into different places into what's more functional and practical but that's way out of our budget and time frame so we kept the fridge where it's at right now so we have the fridge where it's gonna be and then we have our arch opening to our pantry way if you remember in um part one it was just a door um with some shelves in there we got rid of the shelves and we got rid of the door and we reframed it um into an arch because i'm obsessed with arches in design and then over here we're gonna have this cabinet over here you can see i already started placing some of the hardware we're gonna put a countertop over here and over here we're gonna put like a range hood we're gonna do like just a custom quick one simple super simple and sleek with a vent and then i'll probably attach 
a shelf right here just so I can maybe have like a plant or something cute there. I still need to paint above the fridge because we took down the cabinets because we didn't really need it and I don't think I would reach up there to put anything in there. And so over here we have our arch opening, which I love. So we've got some work to do clearly, but we're gonna put some floating shelves here and then maybe a very shallow cabinet. Not sure yet, we have to wait to see what is gonna fit. And then there's this long nook back here. So before this was the pantry and it was like shelves all the way back there. So like you couldn't like really reach, like you can't really reach far. Um, and so we knocked down all the shelves. We're gonna put this 18 inch cabinet back there, which goes about two feet upon this wall. They put electric right here. So we're gonna have like three shelves. On top of the cabinet, I'm gonna put my espresso machine. Then we're gonna have our microwave up there, which is perfect because we have the power. And then the third shelf will be just extra storage. And hopefully we're gonna see how it plays out and what's functional about like coming in and out of this space for us before we fully decide what we're gonna put on this back wall. So um, I still have to paint that little section right there. And then I wanna do some touch-ups, but also it's not like priority right now. It looks good from afar, but you're gonna see if you really look closely, like the paint was just a pain really, uh, because sanding these cabinets was not really an option because it would have ruined the cabinets because of the material that it is. So I just don't think the paint stuck um, good enough which made it like super easy. Like if you scratch it, it's gonna come off. Like there's already a scratch right here. So we're gonna have to put some kind of like clear coat or something on it to make it more durable. But for now, I'm just happy that they're painted and um, I'm about to actually put on the hardware. I got these knobs, these gold knobs from Amazon. I'll link that below as well as this faucet from Amazon. So this is really nice. I really like this. We do have to get some hole covers for the extra holes. I got these from Amazon as well. And so I'm gonna try those out. Those are three inch center holes. And then here's all of our pantry right now. I've actually gotten a lot of these pantry storages for super affordable prices. TJ Maxx has really good prices um, for these. So I wanted to do this and I put started putting like a lot of stuff in it already. Got our granola trail mix and all that fun stuff. And so trying to make everything functional, but also pleasing to the eye because that's important as well to me. So that's where we're at right now. I have some time right now during writer's nap to install the hardware on the cabinets. So I'm gonna do that just to get that over with. And yeah, let's just get some hardware on these cabinets and see how it looks. family videos coming soon so don't forget to subscribe and yeah thank you guys so much for watching we love you guys and we hope you have a great day wherever you are bye